Here we go, welcome back to the XCOM 2 Team Shenanigans Saves the World playthrough. Uh, I don't remember exactly what happened when we last left off. It's been probably three weeks? Four weeks, maybe? Over a month. Definitely over a month. Uh, we're going to dive in and see how badly I've messed everything up. I think our last mission was a... Revenge mission? I'm so confused. I do not remember exactly where we are. Also, for the guys watching on YouTube, uh, this is taken from a live stream. If you guys want to catch this stuff live, jump on over to twitch.tv forward slash lupus underscore Arkham. You get this live and see it before it goes up on YouTube. The whole session too. I don't know why Zach is dropping a link to YouTube in my Twitch chat, but if, and those of you on Twitch, if you want to watch the vids out on YouTube, there's the link there. So yeah, uh, if you hear me talking to someone or something uh, on on YouTube, I'm probably talking to my chat or referencing something. I won't do it too much because I know it can kind of uh, take away from things. But here we are. Welcome back to the Avenger. We're currently working on the Guerrilla Tactics School. Uh, we have an infirmary. We've got our engineering. Pretty stock standard. Uh, we have some wounded. I believe it's Sahani. Kisu and Sahani, yes, three days. They both get fixed in three days. There's a bond available for Kisu. I don't know who... It's a tape deck. Does that... Who are we... Weren't we trying to force a bond? I can't remember who we're trying to force bonds Maybe with. Maybe once this is all over, we should take this ship and go colonize one of their planets. Jesus. And... Tomato Squish and... Was it Outrider? <laughs> oh, Jesus. T-Squish. Uh, yeah, Outrider had a bond, but we're trying to force uh, Tomato and Obi to have a bond, I think. The Kerm. Force T-Squish and the Kerm. Right. Uh, now, we're also working on tactic school, the officer autopsy, and we need to build a resistance rings. And I think we're clearing... Weren't we clearing out debris? Or at least we're working on debris? I'm going to need more help no, on the they're busy. Okay, that's right. Start clearing out some of these other that's right. Okay, so... Low scientists, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, let's uh, dive in and see what missions we come up to. Lord Nightmare, thank you for the follow. Um, now, what, what do we have available? We do need to get here to do the black site, so we probably should make contact, right? I think that's a smart move. We don't really need supplies. I think we're going to make contact. After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a this avatar the project thing. Um, out of Once makes we it them, we'll puts a time limit on us essentially, and we also have to deal with the chosen too. It's Using a bit of a juggling act. So far, we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. <laughs> Hello, Commander. It would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. 
I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. This summer. We're tracking the aliens' progress right. on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end. Oh, I hate this. I hate having a timeline for this stuff. We already have three fucking ticks up on it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We're gonna keep this uh, search up. Guerrilla Tactics School, now operational. Perfect. Uh, yeah, Scott Size 1, right? Hell yeah. Now, what does this do? Train rookies as a specific class. <laughs> okay. Let's continue this. Wait, no, we can work on uh, deconstructing stuff, can't we? Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for us. Yes, we yes, yes. Working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. All right, let's make this contact. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Objective added. <clears throat> it looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. I kind of just want to jump up to mag weapons. I'm going to be honest. Fuck it. I will begin our research immediately. Maybe we should start training someone else to pilot the Avenger. I'm never... We're gonna hit an attack, aren't we? Yeah. Oh. Battle with those who do not know it mm. not think it. But I am beholden to my master's will. I think we make contact here and then work on... Uh, Disrupting Our her friends stuff. in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an Operation Laughing line. Whisper. We Here we go, boys. Salvage some high value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. 
All right, let's uh, figure out the squad we're rolling with here. Right, our leader. I kind of want like a Kisu uh, as a ranger. Divine as a sharpshooter is pretty good. Uh, can you get T Squish ranked up a little bit? And of course, if that's the case, we're going to bring the Kerm as our specialist. And we need a bit more firepower, so. <clears throat> Corporal. Now, a grenadier. What are we? Hmm. We have a special. I. Hmm. What do we take here? Let's take some guaranteed damage here with Brunswick. All right. <clears throat> uh. No, we want him to have grenades. Let's give you a... Okay, just kidding. Oh wait, we need to make items available. There we go. Med kit. That's all we really have. Let's launch this stuff. Sky deployed. See, now that we have the extra uh, capacity, we'll be able to train some people up, you know? Take him out on like smaller missions. Then we can have like an A team and a B team with a few reserves. <clears throat> Gotta love the loading times in XCOM. This is on an SSD, by the way. Granted, a slow one by the looks of things. Also, uh, Twitch chat, let me know if I need to adjust my we audio have a settings. Reliable source reporting that Advent has a resupply operation in progress in this region. They're airlifting supply crates out of a secured area, and if we move quickly, we can probably grab a few for ourselves. Hell yeah. Mark the crates for pickup, and Firebrand will handle the heavy lifting. God, it's so cool seeing like Advent everyone in game. Advent are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area. And we have an opportunity okay. here to take a few for <clears throat> ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders. And Firebrand will handle the rest. Let's push Kisu up. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Oh, I pressed the button. Sorry, control. The voice lines just make this so perfect. Like, even the small, like, things like that. Um. Divine's gonna stick up here. We'll send... Where are we going? Just here? So if we can get Divine up on top of this building, oh, that'd be pretty good. There is no timeline by the looks of things. So we can take our time. Heading to that location. The Kerm. Will do. That looks safe. That is without the introduction hmm. of human DNA. These creatures once operating under the guise of thin men oh. now show their true form. Snakes. A purely reptilian species. I'm a slithery snake. No for them to hide. <clears throat> the aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. Also, <clears throat> sorry for my throat today, guys. It's a little uh, rough. Has been for a couple of days. Let's just hang tight. I'm on it. Oh no. Okay. Let's send Kisu up, as always, see if we can get a uh, look-see of where people could be. Hmm. I'm worried that 
Let's push him up here. Stepping off. I'm really worried that we're gonna like trigger a pod without it. Okay. And then we can run Divine up, because I want Divine up here, because the shots you can get from up here. God, the camera. The Kerm sounds like an amazing WWE wrestler. Yeah, I could see that. Do we still have the uh, eyes on, or did they wander off? Damn. Moving on target location. Divine. We don't have a time limit, so I'm fine just to take things super slow. Looks like anywhere we move out here is going to cause uh, a trigger of the Overwatch, though. So we'll hunker. Well, Overwatch at least, so we can get a full shot with Divine if need be. There they are. 99 and a 99. Oof. I kind of don't want to pop this just yet. I kind of want to get them in the perfect position, but moving anywhere is going to cause uh, issues, I think. So let's wait one more turn. Perfect. All right, snake boy. Let's set some this overwatches. Overwatch. Overwatch. All right, and let's uh, crack a shot at this snake person. Maybe go for a crit. No crit, but still decent shot. And they'll scatter, and we'll get overwatches, right? Brunswick with the overwatch. Misses. Not even close. Kisu. Oof. Very nice. And this is why we saved uh, the Kerm, so he can get a shot out Here on I this come. thing. Sorry, that's not even the Kerm. I lied. I'm sorry. T-Squish. 80% shot. Dead. How many is that now? Advent has already marked a couple of crates for extraction. If we move quickly, we may be able to mark them for ourselves and prevent their airlift. Alright, here we go. Let's push on up. When I was a young girl, they used to call me Biscuit Mama. Oof. Oh, I miss that nickname. Can you start calling me that? Let's do this! So many action cams. Absolutely. I might run... Go, go, go. I'll take a dash. Fuck it, I'll take a dash. Do they pick them up next turn? Is that how that works? Advent just airlifted out for uh, the first crate. That sucks. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. I didn't realize they did it next turn. That kind of sucks. So we're going to have to move pretty quickly. If that's the case. You know, I could really go for a crock Let's move already. already. A good and juicy crock burger. That'd be something, yeah? Finally! Uh, I'm fine with having Divine sit back. Trigger a pod, maybe? No? Give a fire shots! Oh, will they be up in here? Hmm. I don't know where the other pods are, so we're gonna play it safe. I don't want to get flanked by accident. Yeah, okay. 
Mm, we could probably rush They're moving as quickly as they can to get those one, crates. Though. If we want our share, we'll have to move just as Aha, fast. there's the other pod. Oh, it's a psycho. Oh, alright. Uh, okay. Yeah, that works. I mean, you I wasn't... Oh, there's three of them. This is why we set up Overwatch, boys. Has Brunswick actually even hit a shot? I don't recall. Come on, focus. He must have to be able to have leveled up, right? Alright, Divine. Let's crack some heads. Just like that. Das war echt gut. And T Squish himself. Let's do this. Thirty-eight. Nah. <laughs> Let's just get rid of this. Now there's no cover. Which will allow Kisu. Omae wa mo Shindaru. Oh! Right, they explode. Oh! I have made a small tactical error. Moving out. Not a problem. Did not realize that they exploded like that on melee. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Ugh. That's quite bad, actually. <laughs> Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1 5. Let's send uh, the Kerm up. Over here. And I think I can... Fuck, okay. We'll play it safe. Get Kisu behind full cover. Send Brunswick up. Hope we don't trigger a pod. <clears throat> Let's move already. I'm hoping they'll be up in this sort of direction. Um, although, looking at it... Probably over this way. I think Divine's fine to stay there. Let's just this might keep it nice angels. and uh, safe go, go. here. We can grab that easy. <clears throat> Don't know about that one though. Okay, step one. The Kerm will heal Kisu. You'll be fine. Okay, and let's, uh, hmm, maybe we'll have to run Kiso up over here, <clears throat> don't trigger a pod, and bring Broswick here, come on over watch. Runs with my watch. This might actually watch. be the world's most boring Scanning a beach. T squish. T squish. Over here. Tired of waiting around. Got it covered. See, I'm worried about sending Kisu up in the front, but we may as well grab this, right? Here I come. Uh, tomato. Kisu. Grab this bronze. Uh, I'm gonna run the cam up. I think we're okay to do that, right? Overwatch. Crikey, this is boring. 
Where is this last pod? <clears throat> Trying to figure out, should I reload with bronze Head or? Down. Fuck it. On it. Come on. Uh, I'm getting. No, I'm too fast and loose right now. Rock and roll. Let's slow it down a bit. <laughs> Grab that. Affirmative. Covering now. Grab that. And over. Aha! Get him, Kermit. Well done, Kermit. That is not good. Got advent here. All right, this isn't horrible. They were in prime position for a grenade, however. Comma. Don't think that's going to be a thing anymore. <clears throat> He's going to have to deal with a snake person. But the vine has some shots. Oh God. Seven. Twenty-seven. All right. Let's start by T squish opening this up a little bit. Should kill. This one and maybe allow for some better shots. Can we? That's probably going to be the best, right? Take this. Good luck. Knock knock. Which will allow Kerm 50% shot to wound. I think we can push up and secure something a bit better, right? Or do we move over here and support Kisu? I think that's a good move. Divine a 21 at the stun lancer. You know what? Go for it, Divine. Yeah, okay. Need to upgrade him a little bit. We'll set the Kerm on. Well, we'll wait. But we'll put, definitely put Kisu behind full cover. Up close. With a shotgun. Yeah, there's the snake lady. 46? Or... No slash available. We'll set you on Overwatch, because we might just this get the kill on Overwatch. The and Brunswick... Job. Won't be a flank. However, 62%. Come on, Brunswick. Nice. Alright, now we're just dealing with the snake. Uh, which will hopefully bait out. That's fine. Oh, I thought this thing was a turret. I was very worried. Woo! I forgot they could do that. That would have been quite bad, actually. That's quite bad, actually. Alright. Well. Guess there's not much for it, Kisu. Twenty percent. Mm. Can we not hit it with a frag? What about from T squishes out? What about from inside. Is that a flank? Let's do this. Thirty-two. Come on, T squish. 6 damage, perfect. See, I, I hope that they were going to push out to try and get a shot at Kisu. I didn't realize they had a shot there. But... Absolutely. I think we're going to guarantee the kill with Kisu here. <laughs> Boom. A little bit of revenge. 
Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Excellent work. You. After Perfect. the war is over, maybe you can start your modeling career. Every time I see Tomato, I get more and more uncomfortable. Me too, man. Me too.